nothing like the ferocity of 1995, but this time it was all happening in an area that was rated safe. It was a real emergency that needed serious investigation. A drilling rig is being installed in the exclusion zone, close to one of the areas the new volcanic activity is threatening. The crew is from Utah in the United States. Their speciality, boring holes deep into the earth. This is the first of 18 that will be sunk around the volcano, each 170 meters deep with an instrument at the bottom that records every minute twitch in the earth. This information from deep beneath the mountain will give the scientists a clearer picture of what they think is the cause of the latest emergency. The magma chamber that feeds the volcano is being kicked by new magma welling up from even farther down, putting dangerous pressure on the vents leading to the surface. We really do not have the capability at the present, present time uh, with the surface measurements to know when those deep kicks are coming in. And we hope that by these deep installations, these very sensitive pressure sensors, we'll be able to learn something about the deep system as well as the shallow system that we feel we understand at the present time. Get it all out of the pulley here before you can take off. So understanding the process of the volcanoes will enable us to, uh, to forecast the future events and, 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 and to be aware of uh, forthcoming events that may be hazardous to the people at the island. All the evidence from the fresh eruptions pointed to the fact that a previously unaffected area was now under threat. It was added to the existing exclusion zone. Terrible news for the hundred or so families who had to evacuate yet again. But large numbers of the Montserrat people never really went along with that. Instead, they're trying to get the country moving again. With only the northern third of the island now habitable, practically everything is being changed around, remade or built from scratch. Locally grown food is at last beginning to appear on the streets again. There are no real markets yet, but it's a start. The most popular part of the new Montserrat has grown up spontaneously, a handful of cafes and shops along one side of the street next to the ferry terminal. So far, it's the one place in the country that people can get together and be sure to meet friends. It could grow into the high street of the next capital city. By the middle of 2002, it looked as if things were at last going to settle down for the first time in six horrendous years.